All right, let's start with the map lights up front. You'll notice that in order to turn this on, it pivots around this area here. You can't press on here to turn it on, but here it does work. So the points where it's gonna grab on are here and here. So we wanna put our trim removal tool in there. Let's turn it on because it's gonna snap into place and turn it off. Toyota made these out of decently thick plastic, but you still want to be careful with them. You'll want to be careful with these bulbs too. They do get really hot. Put the bulb into the socket. You don't have to put the lens back in to test it out. All right, it's working. We can put the correct lens back in. You want to put the hook in first and then pivot up, push it into place. All right, looks good. I mean, red looks pretty dang cool, but probably gonna get pulled over for that. You always wanna make sure your trim tool is clean when you do this, but especially when you're messing with interior fabric. Don't use one of the wide sides. Use one of the narrow sides and choose the one closest to the window. There's a retaining clip. You're gonna have to pull this lens past. Once you're past that clip, you can rotate it out of the ceiling and then you'll be able to pull the bulb out. Pull the bulb straight out, put the new one in, and if it's an LED, make sure you have the polarity right. And again, when testing, make sure that the slide is open so you can see the mirror, and slide the other one open too so you can make sure that you're getting power to both mirror lights. You will also be able to see that you have the visor in the correct orientation. Now that we've got the front of the interior done, let's move further back. This is the rear dome light. It's got a off only when the doors are open and on position. I'm gonna put it in the off position for now. There are two slots on this assembly. They're both towards the front of the car. So let's put our trim removal tool in there. Here's our assembly. There are tabs in all four corners. So you do have to get your pry tool in there and push on it a bit to actually get it loose. Check to make sure your bulb is the right size. There we are. This one's got a metal tab here that's a contact, but you use it to let it kind of drop out. There it goes. All right, start with the side without the metal tab and push it into the metal tab. All right, that's the wrong direction, so we'll spin it around. All right, looks good. Now we can put this back on. Start by putting in the tabs closest to the rear of the vehicle. There we go. Nice. And finally we get to the cargo light located on the left side of the cargo area. Put your trim prying tool into the side of the housing that's facing towards the back of the car. The front of the car has the socket where it plugs in so it's gonna pivot away from that. Once it pivots a little bit, you should be able to remove it fully from its home. There should be some extra wire allowing you to unplug it. You'll wanna unplug it for this next step. At first glance, it looks like you're gonna to have to remove all the gray from all of the clear plastic. However, there are two pieces of gray plastic in this assembly, and you're only gonna to need to remove one. A gentle squeeze of that domed area allows you to disconnect it from the first two clips. The third lock will take some convincing, but it can come out without breaking any plastic, so don't use any excessive force. Once you have the dome piece out, you can access the bulb inside and replace it with the bulb of your choice. I chose an extra bright LED for this location because you don't have to worry about it being too bright while you're driving. Now, before you put the domed housing back on, plug this back in, Test the LED and make sure it works. Make sure your car is on as well. Now you can put that domed assembly back on. Make sure it slides back into place the way it's supposed to be. Then place the whole assembly back in the way that it came out with the plug facing the front of the car. The daylight white of these LEDs really completes the modern look of this modern car. And the extra bright LED in the back really improves functionality by letting you see your cargo better at night. As far as interior lighting projects go, this was about a medium difficulty. It would be easy if it wasn't for some plastic that you could potentially break if you're too rough with it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next Car Simplified video.